Hi, a few videos ago I was looking at image or video to 3D. Um, so in that one, CSM at this time, there was no text or combination of text and image to 3D. And this one called Masterpiece is a similar app, but this is only text to 3D and it creates animations. So rather than spending the whole video talking about how I'd love to see text to 3D combined with image to make 3D, so text and image to 3D, like you get with AI applications such as Stable Diffusion at the moment, I'm going to just take time looking at what this can do, just from text to 3D. It's got a nice little video there. You can make animation textures and meshes. So this, um, like the other one, this turned out quite well. Um, I've got a few examples here. What you have to do is you either choose object animal or human you have to buy credits so you cut the if you log in it comes with a few credits so it's enough to make a few models which is great um, choose how many models you want to make so for example if I was making a, um, an animal then you go there you describe the animal it has presets as well probably these may work a bit better um, so you put those in and then you can do it precise balanced or creative and then you say if it's a horse a make it a creative and then you do the paint, so you describe the paint. You can do a psychedelic horse, and um, you can also have, have animation as well if it's a rig. Um, so let's have a look at these ones. So this was um, this was not so good. Ancient cave purse, it's an animated. Um, but I'll import that into Blender to show you what that looks like, because it's actually quite useful. Um, killer whale, a really nice whale but it wasn't a killer whale so sometimes I think you'd have to regenerate things so I think this whale's actually um, a humpback whale and it's just got a sort of an attempt at a killer whale texture again great white shark let's check this out so great white shark really nice but it's it's bent so it needs a bit of straightening out if we we're gonna rig it and again the textures a bit strange Skyrim sword that came out quite nicely there and city of skyscrapers like so so I'm gonna so you have to export you download these as um, you go there and it downloads as GLB file I'm gonna go to blender now so here's the here are the models in blender and you can see firstly the skyscraper model let's zoom into that let's make sure the Overlays are on, press edit, go to tab, press it, go to edit mode, sorry. And then, you know, it's it's a triangulated mesh. It's quite, obviously needs tidying up. Remember, buildings are easy to get and you can get things using sort of Google Earth method. Um, Skyrim swords, you know, it'd be nice basis for a sword shape. I mean, it's got nice dimensions. It's The dimensions look intuitive. So obviously it's used other swords in its database to have the handle the correct size, etc. Because, you know, I've seen a lot of really bad 3D models where the proportions are off. The shark, very nice. Again, go to edit mode. The topology is a bit skew if we'd have to sort of remesh it, which means getting rid of the textures. Just use this quad remesh. And then I go into edit mode and we can start to retopologize. But look, there's a lot of things happening there. We'd have to redo that. So the jobs for 3D artists still will require topology work for now, I guess. Um, so you're going to make AI models that needs, you know, that's not really going to work that well, you know, when we need to refine it and remodel it. So, you know, you can remesh it using things like quad remesh, a really good um, plugin add on. Sorry for Blender. Okay. Need a bit of work. And then rigging, you know, you can rig these up anyway, they'd be okay, but you'd really want to get the topology right. Go and take the mode on this strange thing. And it's quite high res and triangulated. And let's just press play. Oh, okay. okay, play, great. And it's deforming, okay. The rig seems to be just made up of um, a human rig. So let's go here. I think I specified that in the when I made it. Um, it's okay, yeah. I mean, it's not an ideal rig, but you could edit it further. But you know, for something very quick, obviously you'd need to re if you wanted a human cave person. But you know, something like this, you could keep it in your file if it's a mistake like this. But you know, that could be used for some weird character in the future. 
um, in the background. So these objects at the moment, best to use them in the background, you know, with depth of field on and things. But they're really good quick ways. For example, a real use scenario would be, say, the, the shark uh, or the, um, the whale. So I've, you know, about 10 years or so guided stuff for offshore um, underwater wave um, visualizations. Obviously, they, they wouldn't want a shark, but they wanted a few dolphins and sh um, whales. So I actually bought the, the Monturbo squid. I asked them to buy them for me. Um, so rather than, sorry, Turbo, some people make things in Turbo Squid, but now, you know, to get basic models that are in the background, you're not going to want to spend $50 on a whale that's going to be just that size in a render. Um, obviously, if you're going to do a really detailed whale and you're making a whale, you know, you could use this as a, a reference mesh, um, a proxy mesh, and it's got the shape, and then you can really concentrate on getting it detailed with your modeling skills using sculpt tools in Blender or, um, you know, um, ZBrush and everything else. And then obviously you can take these models in when you edit them into Substance Painter. Anyway, that's me for now. Um, th AI for 3D is definitely starting to take off more and I'm really glad to see that because I'm kind of, as somebody that does sculpture and, and real art, art in the real world and I like to 3D print, the potential of this is really amazing beyond just uh, always flat images all the time, just digital flat images. Um, anyway, comments, questions, welcome. Sign up to my channel and you can also buy my book. The link is in the description along with all the other links in um, what I've used today. And the link for my book is about cities of the imagination. So check that out as well, how to make cities of the imagination. Thank you for tuning in and bye for now.